How are you doing? How's your quarantine going? Maybe you're out and about, or maybe you're not. Maybe you need to figure out how to pay your employees if you still have any employees, or you need to get a bunch of payroll information into an organized format to file uh, for with either the federal government or with the state. Let's talk about the state of California today because we've done California tax rates, and that's generally what this video is going to be about. It's about how you calculate them, and also if you are really disgusted and tired of figuring out the formulas and calculating this by hand, you can use this Microsoft Excel file that I've created to keep track of your business payroll and have all your reports filed and get your tax figured out easily. You can go to KenBraverman.com. This thing's only $100 and it can work. Um, we can set this thing up to handle hundreds of employees really. But the example we're showing is going to have 10 in here and we're going to talk about what you need to calculate California income tax rates and we're going to try to do this in under 10 minutes even though it's pretty complicated. So what we have here is information you need from your employees. You need to know if they're going to fill out a 2020 W-4 which is different from the W-4 from last year. In this case they are. Are they married? Here's where you look at the California DE-4 which is a, a different version. Uh, they used to just use the old W-4 but now there's a new W-4 so they have a, a, the DE-4 this is really where you can um, figure out how many allowances the person has filled out, your employees filled out, and also there's additional allowances in a supplemental schedule that are treated differently for tax purposes. So you need to know the regular allowances and the additional allowances need to go in here. Then you need to figure out what is their California filing status. Are they single, single or married with dual incomes? It's really called single or married or head of household. And if they did a 2020 W-4, you have to also have to put in their information for their 2020 W-4 over here. Okay, so once you get the information from the DE-4 and the W-4, right, the two forms you need, you can have it in here. Then you go into the daily entry sheet. You choose your employees here. You choose their day. You put their hours. If they get paid by projects, you can pay them by certain projects and stuff. We don't have to get into that in this video. Let's get deep into the pay period record sheet. And this sheet is where we have all the formulas for all the taxes. A lot of the stuff you don't need to see you can hide a tremendous amount of all of this. And you can see where we have all the way over here is the area for California tax. And I have about six columns, six, seven columns to figure out California tax and state disability insurance, which are the two things that are going to come out um, in California. What you need to do is you need to annualize your California wages and then there are a bunch of different standard deductions or additional allowance deductions. They're all tabled out in the PDF that you can grab here from California that gives you all the steps if you want to do this all yourself and really figure out, you know, what your when you analyze everything, you have these standard allowance amounts for each filing status that are going to come off of the income that's not going to be taxable. Each additional allowance they filled out is worth $1,000. That's what this is over here, the annual over here, so it's 1000 Then you have to add back, you have to add back some more exemption allowances based on their actual deductions. It's $134.20 when you're annualizing everything per one of those. I know that sounds complicated and annoying. After you're done with all that, you got to figure out what the person's uh, status was and run their taxable amount through this ringer here to figure out what that is. Now, I'm, instead of going through all that rigmarole and showing you all the formulas, I've just done all the formulas here for you, annualized the wages, taken out the standard deduction, and then figured out this big formula here. When you open it up, you see this crazy if formula here with all these different things in here. This is just doing what it did in that PDF and figuring out what the income level is and what the tax is supposed to be at that level. This is the one for doing it for single status. This is the for big formula for married status. This is the uh, formula for head of household status. Then you got to add back those credits at the end for the allowance that I was talking about and pick the right status and this is the amount of tax due. And then uh, state disability insurance is 1% of your taxable gross. So that's pretty, pretty easy and just goes there. When that's all said and done, you can generate a pay stub that looks pretty nice. You, know, you can choose the name of your employee, choose the date. You're going to get all of the pay period information. You pop right here, your state tax here, state disability insurance here, and everything should add up as it does. And um, then you have other reports here where you can 
toggle and choose things like your 941 report. If you want to look at it by month, you just do that, or by quarter, or by pay period. And everything's going to pop up over here and fill itself in for you automatically. Got your California state over here, same situation. If you want to look at this by month, or quarter, or whatever, Q2, Q3, Q1 is the only way I have activity in. So there's that. There's also other pivots where you can refresh this and see full-on reports and other things that you might need if you need to file other things that are available in this payroll file. And then we have a W2 here, and um, it automatically fills out when you choose the name. It just fills out everything for you. So that is how you do California. Uh, it can be a tad bit cumbersome if you don't formulate a solution. Uh, in a computer program like Excel, uh, it has those four or five steps to it. it. Other than that, it's really not all that bad. So if you are interested in using one of these files for your small business, contact me. They're really easy to churn out, and I can customize them specifically for your business for a little bit more than the purchase price. But oftentimes, you'll just be able to get this thing and go um, with $100 and be good to go for the whole year of 2020. So happy payrolling, everybody. Payroll should be easy, so make it so.